brothers and sisters in the Lord. Today, the Mother Church celebrates the solemn feast of the Annunciation of the Lord. This feast marks the fullness of time in our human salvation history. This feast reminds us the love of God in our lives. This feast is to feel the presence of the Holy Trinity in our lives. The word Annunciation derives from a Latin word Annunciatio, meaning to proclaim. Today's feast proclaims the great news of the birth of Jesus to Mary. Isaiah proclaims the love of God for us and in the letter to the Hebrews proclaims the greatness of an obedient heart that does the will of God. In the first reading, the king of Judah, King Ahaz, was asked to ask for a sign from the Lord. A sign was the assurance of God's love and truth to the Israelites. God himself offers King Ahaz the love and protection in the war against the Assyrians. The proclamation of Isaiah of the great sign is actualized in the Annunciation of Angel Gabriel to Mary. The second reading is another proclamation of the greatness of an obedient heart that does the will of God. In God's will with love and obedience is what God wants. What wants, my dear brothers and sisters, is not animal sacrifices, but our lives and all its big and small deeds. Our loving actions, words and thoughts reflect the love of God, the Heavenly Father. He wants the sacrifices of our earthly will and desires to that of God's will. In the Gospel, Mary is the perfect example of saying yes to God's will. Responding the proclamation of Angel Gabriel is just the total surrender to the will of God. The sign promised in the first reading is realized in the Annunciation of Gabriel and trust-filled response of Mary. What does the Feast of Annunciation remind us or invite us to? reminds us of the intervention of God in our human salvation history. It reminds us that we must surrender our will to that of God's. It invites us to imitate Mary in saying yes in our daily actions, words and thoughts. My dear brothers and sisters, our reasons are rooted in our daily actions, in respecting our elders, in raising our kids properly, in growing in faith, in carrying out our responsibilities faithfully, in our interpersonal relationships, in honesty, in humility, and in our gentle behavior to one another. Let us listen to the voice of God in our lives let us continue saying yes to God's will. May Mary, the perfect example of doing God's will, be with us, help us, and inspire us in our daily life. Amen.